Up. Downdraft last year and Prince of Aaron the year before, oceanographer four years ago. So the internationals have had a really strong hand. Just Ashrun having a crack at it this year, though a lot of internationals now in the hands of Australian trainers. Can Aussie Kerr and John O'Neill and the big team of owners continue their great run? They have Admire Robson trying to win its way into the cup as we join Matt Hill. Rocks is about to come along. We await on Hush Writer with Craig Williams. Dave Waterhouse has won this twice with excess knowledge and also Sis Montaigne. Sound goes in. Hush Reiter takes the outside and the field is set for the Lexus Hotham. The last spot in the cup up for grabs. Ready to run. Chabau not standing straight at the moment. It's bubbling about. Field ready. Set for the Hotham. And away they go. A zero out the back with Ash Run after a few strides. The rest of them got away in a line. Cariff on the fence with Brimham Rock Sound and also Platinum Invader. And there's Hush Rider and Shabao wanting a piece of the action too. As they charge past the stands and out wide on the track, it's Hush Rider with Platinum Invader. They were followed by Sound, who's going to push up and almost lead on that first turn. Brimham Rocks to fourth, and then came Admire Robson and Cariff. Two further back in the field, future score, and then Shabao. A zero second last on the outside of Ash Run. To the riverside now through the 2000 marker, and it's Hush Writer the leader for Craig Williams by about a length and a half. Platinum Invader and box seating third is sound. Brimham Rocks caught deep park there, so pushes on. Admire Robson the outside of Cariff at the 1700 metres. Next in the field, Shabao, future score. Second last in the race is zero, and Ash Run tucked away on the fence at the end. 1500 a run. Hush Writer, as it loves to do, gets out and bowls in front by a length Brimham Rocks. They were followed by Sound third and fourth is Platinum Invader. A length and a quarter away Cariff with a nice smother. Fifth on the fence from Admire Robson. Then came Future Score. Well back in the field Shabao third last and then came Ash Run and Azuro is at the tail of the field. Speed moderate. Hush Rider is the leader. At Chiquita Lodge at the 1200 metres by a length Brimham Rocks. Sound is third and every chance for Platinum Invader. A length and a quarter away Cariff and Admire Robson then came Future Score then came Shabao, Ash Run not suited by the slow tempo second last to zero last 900 metres to go, Hush Rider really stacking this field up led from Brimham Rocks and they were followed by Sound and Platinum Invader a length to Cariff, fifth the inside of Admire Robson at the 750 next Shabao, seven off the lead Future Score leaving the fence, a zero Ash Run still last, tightly packed up around the turn at the 600 metres. It's Hush Rider in front from Brimham Rocks at Meyer Robson. Right behind them, Sound and Platinum Invader. Cariff's going to continually hunt the fence. Future score, Shabao to the middle, followed by Azuro. Ash run to the outside, the widest as they sprint up. 350 metres to go. Brimham Rocks up to Hush Rider at Meyer Robson, Shabao. Ash runs about to unleash and Sound back to the inside. Brimham Rocks at the 200 with Sound and Ash run. It's Brimham Rocks grabbed by Sound. Ash run under the arches is still running on still sound ash run diving sound holding on ash run comes at it and ash run beats sound ash run has got up to beat sound photo third future score brimham rocks cariff not far from those either they were followed by shabao admire robson next in the field a zero platinum invader and hush writer has finished last i reckon he's got it in the outside maddie hills called the outside and andreas voller has made the trip from Germany, sat in quarantine for two weeks, arrived just short of midnight last night, down in the car from Sydney, and he'll have a runner in the Lexus Melbourne Cup for Australian bloodstock. What success they've had. And right on the line, Ash Run nails Sound, who was given a peach from Jamie Carr. Karen McAvoy gets Ash Run into the Lexus Melbourne Cup. Sound runs second. We have a photo for third, but Andreas Voller will add a German horse into the field for the Lexus Melbourne Cup.
So Ash Run for Karen McAvoy, 5, 10 and 2, 10. Defeats Sound, one ahead of five with a photo for third and Brimham Rocks really looks really prominent in that photo with future score, but it'll be Brimham Rocks who will get third and Carraf up on the inside one, two, one. will run fifth. But it's a wonderful story. The commitment that Australian bloodstock have got of purchasing horses to come and tackle the great race, the Lexus Melbourne Cup, has been rewarded. And Hutch, that was a terrific win. Sat last, we saw him in the Geelong Cup, he improved today. He sure did uh, with the benefit of that run. And once again, the Geelong Cup form stands up uh, very strongly indeed. Um, didn't have a lot of early pace, Nick, but uh, Kieran McAvoy didn't panic. He let the horse get balanced and then uh, brought him right to the outside. Jamie Carr's given sound an absolute peach of a ride back to the inside and just been touched off. But uh, it was uh, Andreas Voller and Kieran McAvoy teaming up with Ashrun that proved too good on the day. And they won a Melbourne Cup, uh, Andreas Voller, in those colours back in 2014 with Protectionist. This horse, Ashrun, drops from 61 down to 53 in Tuesday's big one and no doubt will attract plenty of support as the uh, Hotham Stakes winner often does. Sound, he's just been so consistent this spring, hasn't he, Hutchie? You almost feel for connections of Sound because he's been thereabouts to qualify for the Melbourne Cup at a couple of runs and has just gone down narrowly again. Exactly. Um, and uh, look, uh, wide apart, weren't they? And a few of the others had their chances. Uh, I think Shabao presented in the race. He got into a little bit of a bunt 